All right, guys, time for another social study psychology video. Why canon matters. Why it matters and you should not be retconning stuff, right? And I'm going to talk, I've talked about this topic a little bit before, but I'm thinking about it now because I guess I've just been informed that apparently they have retconned Bridget's story in Guilty Gear and now Bridget is a girl. And why does that actually matter? <laughs> and you know, again, I've talked about this a little bit before and I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this topic as well. And I'm going to say something seemingly stupid at face value, but if you think about it, you'll realize why it's relevant. And I know a lot of times people don't talk about this topic and actually thinking about it, I can't think of anyone who has ever talked about this topic in terms of video games, but you know, people will talk about why canon matters in terms of other forms of fiction, but, and you know, canon matters because if you have a hobby or you are invested in a character in some fictional story, right? When you keep retconning a character, you know what I mean? When you keep, you know, changing what is the canon of the character, you can run into problems of maybe you see said character, they look the same, but the story of said character is not the same. You might see somebody and you're having a conversation about this character and the character they're talking about is completely different than the character you like because the canon of that character is different because of all the retcons. And this isn't some, you know, LGBTQ thing whatsoever only, right? Although I'm going to talk about that, right? You know, the constant, you know, changing of genders of characters now, right? Because I can look at a character like Ryu. I liked Ryu in Street Fighter when Ryu was just the whisper of a hero, the whisper of a badass, this guy, the cliche kind of, you know, hero guy who just does his own thing. I didn't mind that he's ridiculously strong because he's always been a character that has devoted himself to only training, to being the best version of himself, right? I liked the idea that there was this whisper of a hero, this random guy who beat the strongest dude in the world, Sagat. And he beat him so bad that he left a scar on his chest. He humbled the guy who thought he was the best in the world. And he left a scar on the best in the world, or the person that thought he was the best in the world. He left a scar on his chest. And now that dude has to live with that for the rest of his life. And it was even part of the storyline that Sagat was so distraught over that, you know what I mean, and fucked up from it. That's why he taught himself the tiger uppercut, because no one had ever seen a move like the dragon punch before, right? You know, Ryu was the whisper of a hero. Who is this badass that is just randomly beating people, even the strongest in the world? But now Ryu is not that character. The only similar thing to Ryu from when his character was first introduced, besides, you know, like a red headband, is that he's a guy who likes to train. But he's not strong anymore. Ryu his victory over Sagat isn't legitimate. He turned evil and gave him a cheap shot. You know what I mean? He constantly, his whole storyline now is he just turns evil and when he turns evil, he throws a fireball. His storyline is he's struggling with an evil version of himself. He's not interesting. So what I'm getting at, Canon Mare's there because someone could say their favorite character is Ryu and we have two different visions of who Ryu is. Because Ryu is not the same character anymore, right? So when we get at all these characters now changing their gender, right? You know, changing their storyline. Now Bridget is a girl. And it's crazy that there's some people that think this is good. They're thinking like, oh, well, Bridget, they just decided they're a girl now. We all change as human beings. But what, what, dude, it's a video game. Bridget is not a human being. Bridget is a video game, you fucking idiot, Okay. Bridget is not some sentient being with all these. Bridget is not think has Bridget has no real thoughts in their head right now. Bridget is not real. Okay, are you a fucking idiot? Do you think you're a bug too? Don't answer that. Okay. Bridget's entire storyline was society wanted them to be a girl because it was like taboo for them to have two. You know, were they twins? I don't know if they were twins or whatever. If it was just two sons in the family, but. You weren't supposed to have two males or whatever. Maybe it was twins as well. And so society was forcing him to be try to be a girl. They were trying to make him be something he wasn't. And throughout the entire story, Bridget, despite, you know, being forced to dress like a girl, was like, oh, no, I'm a boy. I don't want to be a girl. I'm a boy. Okay? Now you're saying Bridget is a girl? 
is transgender? Now, from a certain perspective, you could say, wow, you're kind of forcing the gender on somebody now, right? I know some people use the term like, you know, oh my God, they're actually like grooming Bridget. I feel like grooming is such a social justice warrior word though, so I don't want to use that, but I guess too late I already did, but there's another fucking social justice warrior <laughs> word I feel like, but that's another story, but you know what I mean? So it's like, wow, you're really, you think it's cool that they just totally flipped the story because... Maybe you could say, from a deep perspective, Bridget is a character that represents somebody that, despite society trying to force them to be something so much that they aren't making them dress they don't want to dress, you dress how they don't want to just blah, 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 and them fighting against that. You know, I mean, of course, they fucking, they look ridiculous. It's a fucking cartoon anime, right? You know, but the, the deeper story could be, wow, they're fighting against someone trying to force them to be something they aren't. Now you just totally flip the story that, oh no, Bridget, oh yeah, I'm a girl. What? Are, are you a fucking idiot? And the Testament thing was funny too. If you saw they actually, the designs of Testament, what Testament's original design for Strive came out, and guess what? Testament was a buff dude. So all you fucking social justice warriors who are trying to go on like, oh no, Testament has always been non-binary. Testament has always been transgender, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Just like I fucking said, it was a fucking marketing ploy to capitalize off you guys, to make money. Do you know what I mean? Testament in these designs is buff. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what I mean? And it was so funny too because people tried to use, they tried to basically misquote these old Japanese quotes where they're like, oh, but if you look at, you know, Guilty Gear 20 years ago, it said Testament had transcended humanity and Testament, Testament was a gear now. So that means that Testament has, test, Testament, <laughs> Testament has always been non-binary. No, that's not the fuck it means. It means Testament is a gear. The whole storyline is Testament was always a guy that turned into a gear. Do you think, are you a gear? Well, then again, considering some people think they're bugs, maybe you do think that. You know what I mean? It's like that has nothing to do with being non-binary. You're a fucking idiot. You, you know what I mean? It says they transcended humanity. Yeah, they got turned into a fucking gear. They're not human anymore. That does, are, If you are non-binary, does that mean you think you're not human anymore? I'm sure there's probably some fucking weirdos that think that, right? But you know what I'm getting at. And then I remember some people that go, oh, well, they said testament is androgynous. Androgynous does not mean you're transgender. Are you a fucking idiot? That has never been what the word means. Androgynous does not mean that you are fucking transgender. You're like, what fucking extreme coping mechanism? And then you see the designs of Strive from the beginning. Testament was a buff dude. They just did it to change to make money. And the stupid thing that I wanted to say that's going to sound really stupid at face value is why isn't Gold Lewis transgender? And you're like, what are you talking about? What do you mean, why isn't Gold Lewis transgender? Well, I, I mean, I want you, again, something that seemingly seems stupid at face value, but think about it. People are so up in arms, all this political mumbo jumbo, ridiculous social justice warrior shit. We need to have transgender representation in our video games, blah, 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 blah. Well, okay, why can't Gold Lewis be transgender? Why do we have to retcon and change the story of other characters? Why can't Gold Lewis be transgender? And guess what? You want what people probably say? Well, I don't want Gold Lewis to be transgender because he's, he's a fat white man. He's a fat white guy. Well, why can't he be a fat white girl that looks like that and has a beard? Guess what? I, I can definitely tell you, I know some people that guess what? They tell me they're transgender now. Guess what? They fucking rock a beard. And it, it they rock a beard. That sounds like what rock a beard is. That sounds like a rock song. Rock a beard. Whatever. Uh, seriously, I, I can't believe some of the stuff I see. And it's like, I don't know why people don't think I'm feminine. It's like, dude, you you aren't you don't even shave. You literally you, you know, I, you could, I, you know, obviously I'm not transgender, so I'm sure it's terrible going through a transition, but they refuse to shave. They literally, you know, fat white girl now with a beard. And they're like, why don't people think I look feminine? It's like, I don't know. Why don't you just shave your beard, dude? And, you know, again, this is gets kind of at a sad kind of topic that people don't want to admit. You know what I mean? 
not ever just because you become a transgender doesn't mean you're going to be beautiful guess what you know what i mean i think there's this idea that oh no we can only be represented transgender wise if we're the most beautiful character if we look beautiful blah 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 guess what how many transgender people that do you know that look beautiful and that's a, that's a sad, honest question. I, I'm going to be honest. How many people, transgender people, do you know that really they look fucking feminine? You know what I mean? And that's a terrible, you know, it's a terrible truth of reality, right? You know what I mean? Sadly enough, I bet you'd find more transgender people that could potentially look like Gold Lewis than would look like Testament. And that's not to say that there's never been any beautiful transgender people or never any feminine. I, I told you guys before, I know one of the most fam famous internet transgender people there. Guess what? She can suck my dick. And we've talked about it before. I've told her before. She's still on the phone. We talk about it. She actually looks feminine. But you know what the funny thing is about her too? She's even told me that she stays away from the LGBT community because she is so feminine, they don't accept her. And she's had like bad relations. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that's an honest, that's a that's a bitter truth pill to fucking swallow, dude. But you know what I mean? Why isn't Gold Lewis transgender? Oh no, because we want to be the most beautiful person, blah, 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 blah. Guess what, dude? And this is even going to hurt your feelings even more. Guess what? You don't have to be transgender to be insecure, to not like who you are. There's tons of totally straight people, totally 100% female, totally 100% male that don't look how they want to look, that aren't the most beautiful person ever, that aren't the most handsome person ever. You don't get to automatically be the most beautiful person because you're transgender now. Wow. Amazing. And it's fucking selfish for you to fucking think that, you know? Again, you know, it, it, that's fucking crazy, dude. So anyway, um, you know, the funniest thing about Bridget too is like, man, oh yeah, Bridget's always, I'm pretty sure Bridget was designed, you know what I mean? Because of all those, they probably, they wanted some horny dude or horny girl, whatever, to get that little, oh, it looks like a girl, but it's a boy and, you know, I'm going to fuck them or something, Boku no Pico, whatever kind of fucking hentai thing, whatever fucking it is. And I think it was based off some other anime before, I think the design they even said, right? It was never like, oh yeah, Bridget is transgender. No, the story was society wanted Bridget to be something that they weren't, and they were fighting against it. They retconned the story. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, this whole thing, like I said, I think it's extremely fucking selfish. And I know the Gold Lewis thing sounds stupid, but actually think about it. It's completely fucking true, dude. You know what I mean? So, yeah, dude. Why can't Gold Lewis be transgender? Put it in the comments.